Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to use Samsung Soundbar Remote. So, without wasting your time, let's get started. So, here is a Samsung Soundbar Remote that can help you to control the TV or a soundbar. So, the first button is a power button that can help you to switch on and switch off the soundbar. When you press this button, your soundbar is switch off and switch on like this after that we can move to second button is a source button so it help us to switch between the modes like HDMI USB input mode and a Bluetooth mode when you press this button you will change the modes of your soundbar okay now we move to our next button is a Bluetooth pair button that can help you to switch soundbar to a Bluetooth pairing mode. When you press this button, your soundbar turns into a Bluetooth pairing mode that can help you to connect with the Bluetooth with other devices like TV, smartphone, tablet, laptop and many things. Now the Bluetooth is turns on. Now we move to our next button is a controllers up down left right so the up and down is used to up and down the screen and the left right is help us to move left and right in a smart tv or a other device okay now we move to our next button so the next button is a play and pause button that can help you to play and pause the music or a video like when you play a video on a YouTube or a other applications so you can easily play and pause by using a remote this remote can help to also control your Samsung TV so the next remote next button is a mute button that can help you to mute the Samsung soundbar okay and also unmute it number seven is a sound mode button you can select the desired sound effect like when you press like right now it's a surrounded gaming mode and a adaptive mode that can help you to also adapt the mode so it allow us to change the sound modes okay now we move to our next button is a info button when you press the info button to display information about the current function like you are now on a BT mode when you switch into a HDMI mode then when you press the I button then the display shows HDMI it helps us to identify the source which type of source right now is right now it's a in a input source so when I press I button you will see the input button is on on the display now we move to our next button is a volume button it help us to control the volume so when we slide up it increase the soundbar volume and when I slide down it decrease the soundbar volume so default volume is a hundred volume right now I slide down it then you will see the volume is turns down okay now we move to a number 10 button is a woofer button that can help you to control the base of your woofer like when we slide up it increase the woofer up to plus six and when we slide down it decrease the subwoofer up to minus 12 like this you will see on the screen now we move to our next button is a channel level button so when we press the channel settings it change the channel settings like center level display in the sequence the desired settings can be adjust using the up and down button so when the rear speaker are connected the setting will be show rear level so we can also change it by using a plus and minus button or a channel level okay like this we can also adjust the volume of the levels and also the woofer base 
Now we move to our next button is a number 12 is a surround control button. When press the setting audio sync, night mode on off control and a voice enhance on off are displayed in the sequence. The desired C to A sequence can be adjusted using the up and down button. By using these keys, you can adjust it off and turn on. So here we have given a three modes, audio sync, night mode and voice. Okay. Now we move to our next button is our tone control button. When press the setting, it shows terrible bass are displayed in sequence. The desired settings can be adjusted using the up and down button. You can control it by using up and down button. Okay. So here is a brief about soundbar remote. So now you will easily learn all the buttons and its functionality. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial. Goodbye.